Yase Duane Ricardo Onfroy born January 23, 1998 and died June 18, 2018, known professionally as XXXTentation, often stylized as Thirtentation, and commonly referred to as simply X, was an American rapper, singer, and songwriter. Though a controversial figure due to his widely publicized legal troubles, XXXTentation gained a cult following among his young fanbase during his short career with his depression and alienation themed music critics and fans often credit him for his musical versatility with his music exploring emo trap lo-fi indie rock new metal hip-hop r&b and punk rock he is considered as a leading figure in the emo rap and soundcloud rap genres which garnered mainstream attention during the mid late 2010s born in plantation florida xxxtentation spent most of his childhood in lauderhill he began writing music after being released from a juvenile detention center and soon started his music career on SoundCloud in 2013, employing styles and techniques that were unconventional in rap music such as distortion and heavy guitar-backed instrumentals, drawing inspiration from third-wave emo and grunge. In 2014, he formed the underground collective members only and alongside other members of the collective soon became a popular figure in SoundCloud rap a trap music scene that takes elements of lo-fi music and harsh 808s. XXXTentation gained mainstream attention with the single Look At Me. His debut album 17, 2017, is certified double platinum in the US and reached number 2 on the Billboard 200. His second album, 2018, debuted at number 1 on the Billboard 200 and is certified triple platinum in the US. Its lead single, Sad, reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100, and had amassed more than a billion views on YouTube and 1.6 billion streams on Spotify by July 2021, as well as being certified Diamond by August 2021. He is also the best-selling emo rapper of all time. On June 18, 2018, XXXTentation was murdered at the age of 20 when he was fatally shot near a motorcycle dealership in Deerfield Beach, Florida. The attackers fled the scene in an SUV after stealing a Louis Vuitton bag containing $50,000 from him, four suspects were arrested. No trial date has been set for the accused and the motive for the murder remains under investigation. XXXTentation has RIAA certified sales of 61 million units in the US and BPI certified. Sales of over 7 million units in the UK, bringing his total to 68 million certified records sold in the two countries. Since his death, he has won an American Music Award and a BET Hip Hop Award and received 11 Billboard Music Award nominations. Two posthumous albums were released, Skins, 2018, and Bad Vibes Forever, 2019, the former became his second number one album on the Billboard 200 while the latter entered the top five. Yase Duane Ricardo Onfroy was born on January 23, 1998, in Plantation, Florida, to Jamaican parents, Duane Ricardo Onfroy and Cleopatra Arathadrina Bernard. His father named him for the Bob Marley song So Ya Seh which interpolates Ezekiel 34, both Onfroy's father and grandfather were Rastafarians. XXXTentation stated he also had Egyptian or Syrian, Indian and possibly Italian ancestry in an interview on The Beat in 2017. XXXTentation was mainly raised by his grandmother Colette Jones due to his mother's personal problems in Pompano Beach, Florida, and Lauder Hill, Florida. When Onfroy was six years old, he allegedly tried to stab a man attempting to attack his mother and was eventually put into a youth program before living with his grandmother. A source close to the Onfroy family denied that the alleged stabbing incident occurred, and it could not be corroborated by police reports since Onfroy was a minor. In early 2008, when Onfroy was 10, his father was jailed for nine years in Arizona on RICO charges after the Drug Enforcement Administration organized a sting operation. Onfroy's father was deported to Jamaica in late 2016. Thirtentation's interest in music initially started after his aunt persuaded him to begin attending school choir and later church choir. He was soon kicked out of the school choir after attacking another student. XXXTentation attended Margate Middle School from which he was later expelled after a series of physical altercations. He was subsequently enrolled into Sheridan House Family Ministries by his mother for over six months. XXXTentation began to listen to new metal, 
hard rock and rap during his time at Sheridan House Family Ministries, which led to him learning how to play the piano and guitar. XXXDentation attended Piper High School until he dropped out in the 10th grade. He described himself as a misfit during that time, citing how quiet he was despite being popular and regularly involved in physical confrontations. XXXDentation was not the athletic type and said that he was insecure and depressed during his time in high school. At 3.56 p.m. EDT on June 18, 2018, Onfroy, upon leaving Riva Motorsports Motorcycle and Marine Superstore in Deerfield Beach, Florida, was blocked from exiting the parking lot by a black Dodge Journey SUV. Two armed men exited the SUV and approached the rapper while he was sitting in the driver's seat. A brief struggle occurred, and the armed man reached inside Onfroy's vehicle, stole a small Louis Vuitton bag containing $50,000, and shot Onfroy multiple times. The shooters fled the scene in their SUV. Onfroy was later transported by paramedics to the nearby Broward Health North Hospital in Deerfield Beach, where he was pronounced dead. Onfroy's death was announced by the Broward County Sheriff's Office at exactly 5.30 p.m. Suspect Dedrick Devon Shea Williams of Pompano Beach was arrested two days after the shooting, shortly before 7 p.m. held in the Broward County Jail. He is charged with first-degree murder without premeditation. In the weeks following the event, three different people were arrested for their actions involved. With the event, including trigger man Michael Botright. In his will, Onfroy named his mother Cleopatra and brother Aidan as the sole beneficiaries of his estate. Onfroy's future child, with whom his girlfriend at the time of his death was pregnant, was not named in the will as it was written before the pregnancy. At 4.22 p.m. EDT in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 26 minutes after the shooting of Onfroy, fellow rapper Jimmy Wapo was gunned down in a drive-by shooting. An open casket service for Onfroy took place at the BBNT Center in Sunrise, Florida, on June 27, 2018, where fans were allowed to pay their respects. His private funeral took place on June 28, 2018 where rappers Lil Uzi Vert and Lil Yachty and singer Erica Badu were among the attendees. He was entombed in a mausoleum at Gardens of Boca Raton Memorial Park, Boca Raton, Florida. Onfroy had two half-siblings, an older sister named Ariana and a younger brother named Aiden. Onfroy lived in Florida and lived with rapper Denzel Curry and producer Ronnie J in the past. Before his death, Onfroy was moving into a 6,000 square foot, 560 square meters, mansion in Parkland, Florida, which he bought, in November 2017, for 1.4 million US dollars. In February 2018, Onfroy posted on Instagram that he was preparing to return to school and went on to announce in March 2018 that he was going to a community college to get his GED. Onfroy was public about his struggle with depression. Onfroy's ex-girlfriend Geneva Ayala had accused Onfroy of domestic abuse. According to Ayala's statement, Onfroy beat her at times, choked her, broke clothes, hangers on her legs, threatened to chop off her hair or cut out her tongue, pressed knives or scissors to her face, and held her head underwater in their bathroom while promising to drown her. His favorite thing was to just backhand my mouth, Ayala says, that always left welts inside my lips. The first incident of domestic violence allegedly occurred when Onfroy slapped Ayala and broke her iPhone 6S, because she had complimented a male friend on his new jewelry. Onfroy later repaired the phone. In one incident recounted to a prosecutor, Ayala said Onfroy asked her which object she wanted him to force into her vagina, a long-handled barbecue fork, or a wire barbecue brush, she chose the fork and Onfroy told her to undress. She claimed Onfroy was lightly dragging the tool against her inner thigh when she passed out, he did not penetrate her with it. Ayala stated that once she woke up, Onfroy started apologizing to her profusely for the incident. Onfroy maintained his innocence until his death. Ayala said that Onfroy would often guilt her with near attempts at suicide. Ayala said he used to fill a bathtub with water then fetch the microwave and dangle it over, threatening to let go. Another time he reportedly dangled himself from a 12th story balcony by his legs and threatened suicide again. After Onfroy's death, Ayala said in regards to those discussing her accusations against Onfroy, it's disgusting that people are speaking for me. Roommates of both Onfroy and Ayala describe Onfroy's remorse after the incidents, and say that Onfroy said he badly wanted to control his anger. 
This included an occasion where Onfroy was described as falling to his knees and weeping, begging to himself for his behavior to change. Some psychologists have speculated that Onfroy may have suffered from an attachment disorder stemming from the absence of his mother and father during childhood.